Cricket is still here. She hasn't even left the town. Regina has been seeing somebody. It's the invoice for Chloe's coffin. We will need to exhume her grave. I fear the worst. Oh no, not again, Anna. Let's get a shovel from the shed. Great, I found a shovel. Got it. Give it to me, please. All right, let's do this quickly. Luigi, what is going on? What are you doing? People are already angered and incensed because of Chloe and her child, and now this? Officer Kotze, we strongly believe that something very important is hidden inside the coffin. Miss Myers, here we go again. I tried to be calm and pleasant, but now I would like you to stop this immediately. Senior Kotze! I said stop digging and close up the grave. Right now! Signor Cozzi, you should see this. Luigi! Mio Dio. Chloe and Regina. What is going on here? Right until the very last moment, I hoped I was wrong. I don't understand. How could he do this? You think Adriano did this? Of course he did. Who else could? Everything clearly points to Adriano and Lino. They both killed their women out of anger. That's really doubtful. But let's examine the body. Maybe we can find out the real cause of Regina's death. Great. I found a hand watch. A hand watch? It might be helpful. Great. I found a brooch. This brooch doesn't fit the style of Regina. I don't see any open wounds or signs that could tell us how Regina died. Asphyxia. Asphyxia what? Asphyxia. A deficiency in the supply of oxygen to the body. She was strangled. How do you know? There are no marks on the neck. Look closely. Blue, almost violet colors indicate that. Okay, but why did you take her hand watch? Because it has stopped. Here, have a look. See? Her hand watch shows 7.43. So what? A watch can stop working at any time. It hasn't simply stopped. It broke the moment the body hit the ground. So it's safe to assume that the watch was broken at the time of the murder. You said she was murdered two days ago, right? Yes, most likely. Then it couldn't have been Adriano. I arrested him around two o'clock that day. Exactly. And a little later, Lino was taken into custody as well. So neither could he. Mamma mia, why do you always have to overanalyze everything? We had a perfect theory, and now it is absolutely useless. But Officer Kotze... I know, I know. We need to find the truth. Therefore, we should reopen the investigation. So what do we do? We have to find Regina's lover. Regina's lover? Yes. She was seeing someone. We found these love letters in her room. May I see? Hmm. So what possible candidates do we have? Let me think. Marco, Lino... I don't think Marco is a candidate. He is not her type, and he is not wealthy enough. Lino was in love with Chloe, so he wasn't interested in Regina. The only possible candidate is... Cesare. What? The mechanic? Yes. He has all the traits Regina would look for. He is wealthy and well-mannered. Who is this Cesare? Officer Cozzi, it's Cesare. Miss Myers! Do you remember the day when you chased the pickpocket and you were attacked on the cliffs? How could I forget? Well, Cesare was a crucial witness that day. He told us exactly where to find you, and that was quite suspicious. But we don't have enough evidence to arrest him. I didn't say we need to arrest him, but I do think that he might be Regina's lover. That day, the two of them could have used grease paint so you wouldn't recognize them when they attacked you. We found it in Adriano's sunken boat. Didn't you say you found it in Adriano's boat? Yes, but I believe he was framed. 
But why would they attack me? What do they want to achieve? Adriano was behaving badly to Regina. He was vulgar, disrespectful, and he even beat her. She was sick of it and wanted to teach Adriano a lesson. She also wanted to see Cesare more often, so they decided to get rid of Adriano by framing him. Yes, it makes sense. But who is the killer then? Cesare? I doubt it, but he might know something nevertheless. You know what bothers me the most? The invoice we found. The coffin was purchased by Marco, so he definitely played a role here. I just don't know what role. In any case, somebody had to transport Regina's body from her house to the cafe unnoticed. Which is impossible without a truck or a shortcut with no people around. A shortcut, of course! There's a passage through the caves to the church. Maybe it leads to the railway station, too. Yes, maybe. It's worth taking a look. All right, listen up. Luigi, clear this up. Make sure no one sees the bodies. Once you're finished, find out all you can about this Cesare and wait for us in the police station. Miss Myers and I will look for the passage. Si, signore. Luigi, could you also please contact the police in Vienna? Ask them to send the files on any recent murders committed by women. Committed by women? Anna, what is going on? I'm not totally sure myself, but I will tell you once I know more. Okay, I'll see what I can do. We should light this torch, but we need some matches. Officer Cotzi, do you have some matches or a lighter? Sorry, I don't smoke. I'm sure Adriano has some in his house. Great! I found some matches. Great. Let's see where this passage will lead us. I can't believe it. You are right. That's the passage Marco could have used. Officer Cotzi, we need to arrest Marco as quickly as possible. Stand back, Miss Myers. He might be armed. I'll sneak into the cafe. Be careful. Marco is inside. I need Luigi's help. I'll go get him. Anna, where is Signor Cossi? Did you find the passage? Yes, we did. So that means that Marco is... Officer Cotzi is on the platform now. He needs your help to arrest Marco. Got it. By the way, I contacted the Austrian police. Yes, and? They told me that they had already sent the package on behalf of Signor Cozzi. Really? I found the files and put them on the front desk. Great. Let's see what we've got. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Where is it? Brave lady defends against... The maid killed the owner... Shot him dead before attempting to commit suicide. Here it is. Elsa, whom she murdered later. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes, most likely, but I'm not finished yet. Is Marco's photo in his file? Why do you need his photo? I need to check something. His file should be somewhere here. You can look for it while we are busy with Marco. I better hurry. All right. Thank you, Luigi. Great! I found Marco's file. Here it is! Marco's file. He sure looks like this Elsa Brandt from Vienna. Let's compare this with the photo from the file. Just as I thought. A gentleman. I don't understand this. Why am I here? Move it! Officer Kotze, we will need to get one more person in here to close this case. Your wife. What? Theodora? Why? I believe she is a crucial witness in this case. It doesn't make any sense. 
All right, Luigi, hold him. So this was your idea, Miss Myers? No, these were your ideas, Marco. And I'm not even sure I can still call you that. Miss Myers, what's this about? I have a very important meeting with my Christian group. I'm afraid this might take a while, Signora Cozzi. Please sit down. Let me tell you the story about Elsa Brandt, a little girl from Vienna. Elsa liked carnivals and masquerades more than anything in her life. Somebody knew about Marco's real identity before us. Out of the heavens, he let you here. And on earth, he 